Hello, Trumbull Valley. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 17 of State of Decay 2, Homecoming Lethal, which originally streamed live on Twitch. I like it. Look at it. Legionnaire! Ready and able. Right, so this should be empty. It is. Is the hunting crossbow any better? Uh, so the hunting crossbow will pierce through multiple enemies, but the chance that you will get your bolts back are lower. So it's better if a bunch of uh, zombies are all lined up in a row, like ducks, for duck hunt. Oh. I hear the pharaoh, but I don't see it. I think it's stuck in the mountain. And therefore I don't need to worry about it. Famous last words, I'm sure. So yeah, I generally either like the repeating crossbow, which shoots light bolts, Oh, or the classic crossbow, or there's an echo crossbow that is like the classic that is just a okay. little bit better. This might be too heavy. Um, that has a zoom capability, which is kind of nice. All right, I think we're all looted. So there was this person that uh, turned that I looted. Yeah, I don't see any more corpses, so I think we're good. And this is where the other plague heart is, and it looks like I fully looted it. So let's let's uh, let's drive home and uh, drop off all these uh, rock sacks of stuff after picking That's our specialization here. So you decided that biochem should win. Activate strategy. So now, if I go to click biochem, I can make scent block, which makes me nearly invisible to zombies. Uh, Zed eye, which gives me um, like night vision and Zedralin, or whatever, which is like super stamina potion. And those are pretty typical, uh, or not typical, those are more common. Uh, you can get those by adding a biochem uh, mod into your clinic. And then the special ones is the Zombait, which can bait uh, zombies into where you throw the grenade. Uh, bloater Cloud Grenade which is really biochemical weapons. Useless against zombies, but like very nasty to living targets. Or uh, put <laughs> put the gas into a grenade launcher ammo. So pretty nasty stuff if we wanted to rip people up. There it is. Strategy active. It was very cool. I've also cleared uh, five of the 28 hearts here. And then... We just spotted zombies shambling toward base. I have a, a base attack incoming, so I'm going to want to clear that out. The other thing I want to do before I go home is to swing by the pumping station to try to get... Actually, I might not even need to do that. I might just level up from mucking out the stalls, or mucking out the latrines. So I'm going to travel home, drop off all my rock sacks, and I think that the last latrine duty that I just queued up is going to allow Marquetta here to specialize in electronics or electricity rather, as a utility, which will allow me to make solar panels for the base, uh, powering up the base and giving me the ability to have hydroponics, which will grow me a lot of food. Yeah, bloaters in a car is really bad. And yeah, you did redeem a hydrate, so cheers. So those are, those are really cool biochem uh, weapons that we can use, especially if we end up with hostile enclaves. Totally mess them up. And I'm probably not even going to keep the crossbow for the attack uh, back at home. I'll probably switch to something that, with a little bit more oomph in case I have juggernauts. But it gives me eight minutes to get ready, unless I enter the base, so I can... Oh, I have a... Barrel on me? Come here. Come here. Bye-bye. 
So as long as they don't step into the base, I can do a little bit of like inventory management first. So I got my food. I'm home. Left you a present. Uh, it's more building materials than I even have room for. Awesome. And we're outnumbered here, so remember to use good tactics. Let me get a real gun. And I see you're still kicking. I'll do a shotgun, I guess. Oh, I don't have a lot of shells. Crap. That's not good. Let's hope I don't need it that much. All my pistols are basically broken. Alright, if it gets really hairy, uh, I have a lot of throwables too. In case there's juggernauts or something. I didn't park in a way that blocks us, uh, this path, but let's hope I don't need it. I'll just keep strolling. I'm a little worried because I don't I don't watch this gate here, the one that's right there. So that's kind of a blind spot for my defenses. Screamer. Grinder. I didn't even get credit for killing that feral. That was lame. Stabbed it in the head till it died. No credit. Wouldn't really matter. Marquette's already a hero, but still. Ah, I almost got the shot off. I see another way. Bloater. Where is it? Uh, I don't see where it is on the map. We are not letting these undead bastards win. I thought my storage max was yeah, it's thirty-five. Why is it telling me I need more building materials? That's weird. And we won. We made it through. Does anyone need a medic? Not bad. Oh, crap. What did I just eat? Good painkillers or something? Oh, well. Uh, so, you guys had viewer submitted ideas. I just closed the inbox, but uh, this is what we can vote on. Uh, so, what to work on. Power up the base. Improve the base. Stabilize food income, which is kind of like power up the base. And, uh... I already did Sprog, so I'm going to refund you there. So, of these three options, these are viewer submitted options. Um, I'm actually going to start working on one without you completing your vote. I'm going to go clear Swine and Bovine and then hit the... In four minutes, I'll actually have a little retreat duty done. So, in four minutes, I might even have um, uh, Marketa able to... No, I'm still going to need a little bit more utility. So, yeah, I'll go ahead you know, over and do that. Aren't shred themselves. I really want hydroponics. So, sorry, my you're going to have an extra long day here. Yep, I generally refund anything that I that doesn't end up winning. 
So if you do viewer submitted ideas to my channel and your idea is not voted on, uh, you get your points back. I'm also at uh, building material max, but I'm not that worried about being at build material max because I'll probably invest it in solar power soon. So I'm gonna head over to the swan and bovine, clear that infestation out, and then try to max my utility so I can specialize. Maybe some coffee? I'm a little tired, but I'm not that tired. I don't think I have a lot of coffee. Yeah, I can always make bolts too with my uh, building materials. Yeah, all of all of the choices here can like feed into one another. Power, adding power to the base improves the base, and then with the power builds hydroponics, which feeds the base. So they all sort of work together in in, in tandem. But Kalzamar, I think your idea is going to win here, uh, powering up the base, which is exactly what I'm doing now. So well, sort of. I'm. Sidetracking for the infestation because I don't want it to grow because I'm lazy and you know kill it in the crib. I hate I hate that uh, such a such a nasty uh, idiom. But yes, kill the infestation in the crib so it doesn't get worse, and then level up my utilities. That was too loud. Trust me, it was perfectly good enough. Perfectly. Getting tired. Not good. Oh, that's gonna suck. Well, I wasn't expecting to get lunged at like that. That puts me into plague territory. This infestation no longer has a screamer, but... Oh, and... Yeah, okay, let me just get out of here. For safety's sake. Oh, I'm so close, though. I did just buy a whole bunch of meds, so I'm not that worried about, you know, running out. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty close to an outpost. So I'll just cure myself. Wow, if I'm getting so tired. The nearest plague heart, this should clear up. Base. Make. Cure. And there is Latrine Duty just leveled up my utilities, which allows me to specialize, so I don't even really need to uh, go spend influence over at my uh, pumping station, but I might as well grab the plague cure before I die. Oh, right. Those aren't breakable. Okay, no more of those. Hey, Kevin. Just out of curiosity. Does GH5597 mean anything to you? Alright, so well, her specialization is going to be electrical. So I guess I have no idea. And in the side yard, on, I will put up... Okay. Solar Ray! <laughs> yes! Which means uh, these latrines are going to go bye-bye. Bye-bye, latrine. No toilets. Because I'm going to need the space for hydroponics. Hydroponics are a small slot. Alright. Uh, let's switch characters to someone that isn't a hero yet. Tim McGrath. A posture check that I missed. Sorry. And uh, Kamo, thanks for the follow, by the way. And then Marquetta is going to go straight into the... Actually, she doesn't have plague. Otherwise, I'd put her in the clinic. 
So, new person. Try to get him up to hero. Now, when I'm building hydroponics, let's take a look at the cost. Uh, hydroponics is going to be 13 building materials, which will be every single last building material that I currently have. So I should go scrounge for some. Um, in the adjacent warehouses, there might be some building materials. That's where I'm going to head. I'm going to try to get the resources I need for it. How do... Best way to get over there. I don't want to get past this juggernaut, so I'm going to go the long way. And yes, five hour stream, indeed. Pretty much all my streams are about five. Well, you know what? The swine and bovine might be good to clear out now. Because the, the big horde that initially stopped me from clearing it should be gone. Yeah, it's only down to six. As long as I don't make too much noise, that should be fine. Okay, now this is not my fault. That zombie just has a bolt-proof head. Okay, it's truly bolt-proof. I don't know what's going on. Ah, uh, they're all bolt-proof. Okay. Yo! Get out of here. Stop being bolt-proof. At least I get two of them back. And these three added to the group. Ah, oh, crap. I let that guy yell. He draws more in. Yeah, it's cleared. We're good. I believe Swine and Bovine, yeah, it's been fully cleared, so. No point sticking around. Dr. Hoffman, it's now an appropriate time to discuss my query. Uh, no, Cleo. I. I'm not ready for that conversation. Not yet. I do not wish to cause you undue stress, Dr. Hoffman. I shall delay once again. Hey, you two, get off the radio. I told you, we're all sick of listening to this emotional crap. Oh, Mickey. Trying to repent for his sins, but still, not a patient man. Whoa, that's a landmine. Thought it was a blown up bloater, but nope. Waiting to poison me. So some build extra building materials that I find out this way will help to fund uh, the hydroponics. But this solar array takes 45 minutes to build, so I'm not really going to see the benefit of it immediately. But I do want to start to plague, build up my uh, supply. Okay, those bloaters can't get me. I don't want to build up my... Uh, right. this is good. Nice. My supply of resources so that when it comes time to build hydroponics, I, uh, I'm good and ready. This place would be perfect for an outpost. No dice. Dead free zone. Nice. Maybe there's a use for this. That's there we go. Here. Minus five food. So we're down back into the red. So it would be also probably a good idea to look for food. But it's not that big a deal. I've got some time before tomorrow. There's always the radio option of um, calling in favors for it, too. <gasps> Bag of fertilizer. Yeah. You guys weren't kidding when you were saying 
Uh, just throw some poo on your hydroponics and it'll be all good. Absolutely. Hmm. I don't really have any room. Wish there was an easier way to get to the uh, water station. It's just across the river, but you know, I can't fly, so. Having a car with a teeny trunk, definitely the cause of the woes. Okay, he's kind of chasing me. I don't like that. It's one punch from too much to carry for long. That dude in my uh, car blows up. Uh oh, I think he's coming. I'm gonna be back here for a bit. <laughs> oh god, he really is coming. Did you stop camping my vehicle? So if I use the map to mark where he is. Go, 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 go. Start the car! Ah! I think you got to punch in, but at least I'm not on fire. All right, so base is currently being powered up. Uh, I'm gonna try to prep for all the other improvements that I can make. But I'm very excited to be able to get hydroponics going and whatever other benefits I can, I can net. I'm Sunday driver. I can't start the car any faster than the, you know, car wants to start. Oh, let me get rid of this bag. It just takes time sometimes, you know? Lazy engine. Don't blame the victim. I'm the victim. <laughs> That's a lot to carry. Alright, so we have some things that we could drop off. Uh, let's also search this. Fuel. While I'm here. Nice. I don't know. Yeah, we barely need it. I can turn a lot of this fuel into either jerry cans to fuel the cars. Or, alternatively, uh, Molotovs or other trolls. Especially if I had a uh, chemist or a munitions expert. This place is clean. Bloody hell. Right, let's get out of here quick. No, no, no. Okay. Going back home to drop the rucks off. We definitely want some more food. No doubt about that. We're low again because another day passed and, you know, people eat. But I think this will be the last day of net negative food. If I can stockpile enough... Um, building materials to get the hydroponics built uh, when the power comes comes on. Because, uh... Oh, good. Hydroponics can grow a whole lot of good stuff. Actually, yeah, I want to... No, don't take my door.
This one's tricky. Oh, there we go. How close am I to leveling up? Oh, barely at all. It's like I've not done anything. So one of the next important things that I'm going to work on is just stockpiling. Trying to get as much material. What I'll probably end up doing is uh, going to nearby friends because I have a decent amount of influence. I have about 500, which can afford me maybe four more rucksacks or so. And that will be able to supplement all the things that this community, you know, is lacking. Plus, I could turn a lot of the... I have 12 minutes, so I could turn some of my plague samples into 500 more influence for a total of about just shy of 1,100. And yeah, these rucksacks will give okay -ish XP as well. That's the plan. I guess I should update it on the description there in just a second. I got close enough to make him explode. We have a jug. Okay, is he here again? Oh crap, a juggernaut followed me. I've cracked our mystery radio signal, and let me tell you, this is a gold mine. And to show my face, I invite you to join me and get all right so isby uh claims she broke the code for cleo i'm gonna go over to the other parking spot <laughs> all right what is my yeah that didn't really add much Oh, that juggernaut is actually hurting people. So, hold on. It should be killed real quick, because these five guys have some seriously good guns. Bye! Yeah, you messed with the wrong community, juggernaut. <laughs> Rip! That was great. All right, food stockpile is very low. Has my full attention, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna update this. I'm gonna just say buy food. I'm gonna try to supply our community up so that we don't have such negative problems. I might be able to make some in the kitchen, but I think I sold or killed my cook. Well, that's a that's that's a lot of morale for a long time, but that's a lot of fuel to burn. Um. I could enact rationing, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to go there just yet. Can I show the solar panels? Well, it's uh, it's still being built. Uh, it needs a half an hour left, but it's it's being built uh, right in the middle of your screen there. That's where we're uh, constructing it. Just need some time. Let me pop over. Wow, the engine bangers are all but one left. I guess I did kill Chris. The Engineers offer me a quest? No, they haven't yet. So I'm gonna do a quick little tour to try to buy food so that we don't have critical food needs, because that is making everyone very depressed. So here's the big secret about the signal I decrypted. It was a red talon signal, alright, but they were sending it to Cleo. Cleo? Who's Cleo? Long story, but the point is, these drops were ordered like months ago. Cleo was just waiting for confirmation on the final destination. Which is what we're about to do. No food. Is I don't understand half of what you're saying, but I trust you. I'm here. What's funny what is I I'm actually right I'm where the next quest here. is, so I might as well trigger this. I might as well do it. Crawling with Muerto, 
close, right? <laughs> Plus, this restaurant could have food. Oh boy, it is crawling with enemies though. Chavez, shoot faster! Sounds like Chavez is getting munched in there. Can I recruit the person if they're any good? Uh, I could. Maybe. Actually, I'm not. I think they're they're a different type of enclave, so I don't think I can recruit them yet. I think I just have to wait for their quest line to finish up before they're recruitable. Bloody hell! There's some food. Give me more food. And some ethanol. Nothing like drunk employees, right? Empty. I suppose it could have been worse. It looks okay, right. but we can't actually secure the place as long as that plague heart is nearby. Oh, come on. Nope, seeds and... Oh, God, that's a juggernaut. Where is it? I don't know. I heard it, though. Did anything hear that? Oh, it's uh, it's crushing the the engine mangers over there. I better uh, kick off this quest quickly before uh, those engine mangers just die. Hey, you made it! Nice. I've input the final authorization code. I just have to hit send. Ready to see what Red Talon ordered from Cleo? What the hell? Let's do this. So, you ready to call down? All right. All right. I'm authorizing Cleo to make the drops in three, two, one. So Red Talon is the happening? sort of military Wait merc organization, it? and they've been asking for supply drops from Cleo, who's an artificial it intelligence worked. that actually exists never had any in space. <laughs> and the supply drop uh, just dropped well, just there around. next There's to the juggernaut. Like. So that's that that kind of sucks. But uh, we'll go collect that if uh, if I'm able. And there's a few other supply drops as well. Well, that's I think. Okay, get in. I feel bad for the engine bangers because they're having to deal with a juggernaut while I'm looting I'm their backyard. You talk to me after everything that happened. Whatever. Hey, you back the call you thought was right for the crew. I respect it. Man. Uh, yep, there it is. Whoa! Okay, that's not cool. Dead inbound. I got a rest. Uh, no more space. Is there space in the trunk? I need a quick break. Nope. I guess I'm going to have to drop this stuff off. Unfortunately, I got rid of my fruit stand, uh, so I'm going to have to drive home. Honestly, I'm this close to punching the next person that looks at me sideways. You want to say that to my face? I have no idea why there was a huge swarm there, but it wasn't actually because of the supply drop. There just happened to be a juggernaut. And then when the juggernaut starts fighting things, it makes a lot of noise. So that juggernaut fighting whoever was in the garage, I forget the last one's name just sort of made the problem, which is hilarious. How fueled up is this car? Ah, oh, it's fine. I took everything out of the trunk so that I can fit everything I need to fit. All right, inside, please. All aboard. Going back to the, my, my goodies. Yeah, the trunk sucks, but it's fast. Easily, I could have died if I had any other vehicle because other vehicles are slow, sluggish, will crash, and get you killed. This should clear up. So, 
It might be annoying, but... I'm sure having a speedy vehicle has saved my life multiple times and I don't even know it. Look out, port inbound. A lot of the other vehicles drift a lot, like they slide around and uh, it's hard to describe, but they can be really difficult to control in some in some scenarios. What's the upgrade for this car like? Um, the upgrade for pretty much every vehicle is just like a little tougher, a little faster. Oh, ouch. A little tougher, a little faster. Like, overall better. Is that a... Oh, yep, the engine bangers are dead, and that's the remaining uh, member of their group. Well, thank you for your stuff. Feel like a pack mule. So that's one drop done. There's two more drops left. Uh, I'm gonna run this back over home because I'm I'm full up again. This one isn't upgraded because I don't have an auto mechanic or an upgrade kit for it. So I'll have to wait until I have the upgrades. And I'm gonna finish this quest before I end the stream, so it won't be like a cliffing or anything like that. The solar panel will be a cliffhanger, but I can't speed time up. Well, that's not true. I could, could have built a staging area, which increases the speed at which you build, and then built the solar, but that would be a lot more resources for, you know, only a benefit of, like, 15 minutes. Did I upgrade my shooting? Not yet. I was a little under, uh, under siege. So let's see. Assault. So it's good. Drop number two should be a little bit more simple because it's not underneath the juggernaut. Let's get back out there. Yeah, all the uh, all the upgrades make the it look a little Mad Max, -ish. except for the um, big boss doesn't really look Mad Max. It should looks just like a big military truck, but you can Google it uh, if you're curious what they look like in the benefits. They're definitely better. Screamer spotted. Better take it out quickly. That wasn't a screamer. That was a. That was a. Please. We didn't cause that fuel spill at Jurassic Junction or the fire. I should gave you a long time ago. There we go. No. I got nothing left to say. That's something that like a heavier you is you. vehicle could not do. The sort of nimble. Feel it all. Yeah, that there. Big clunky vehicles, not gonna be able to do that. Having that glitch. Alright, so the good stuff is on the roof. Let's get up to the roof. This old bar also might have food in it, so it might be worth, um, after looting the drop, to check out the bar, because our community uh, still has critically low food. How'd you get up here? What the hell? Meds. This load is quite heavy. He stole my bolt. I didn't get it back. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Missed the ladder. Oh well. Dead. All around us. Go, 
Who needs legs? Exactly. Wait, how'd you piss off this many, dude? Alright, well, you deal with it. I'm gonna get my food. Maybe there's a use for Or ethanol. There we go. Come on, Izvi, please shoot. They have good guns, sometimes they just don't fire. And there's one more spot left. Yeah, the sidearm can go in the sidearm slot, but need another space. I know. Damn it. That did it. Alright, this is fully looted. Let's get going. And there's one left, and I'm just gonna have to make a round trip back to base because I don't have a lot of storage. Oh. Detour. Might as well check the trunk. Plague zombies, or I'm a All right, so Isby has plot armor, so she doesn't ever succumb to the yeah you know, blood plague. But she's obviously highly blood plague because she's complaining about being sick. Me not having a sidearm has you sweating. Yeah, that's how I roll. Dangerously. I could roll around with, like, a suppressed sidearm, but the thing is, like, most of the firearm sidearms make a lot of noise, so if you keep it in a pinch, it's, in my opinion, honestly, just most of the time going to complicate things worse because they're noisy and they're just going to draw more enemies at you. That's why I haven't been rocking a sidearm. If I had a professional suppressor or something like that for my sidearm. Eh, that might be a little bit different, but I don't have one of those, so here we are. We need to quiet down. We're drawing way too much attention. <gasps> right out we go again. One last run. Mm. Yeah, this doesn't need repair yet. This last one is here. Come on, Isby. Yeah, the Vector SMG has a pretty okay suppressor. The problem is on uh, lethal difficulty, everything makes just a lot more noise. So, there is no such thing as a silent gun. Not really. Every, all gunfire is going to be somewhat noisy, unlike a crossbow. Which is why I've, I've been pretty much no gun it looks at okay. all, unless okay. we're going loud. This is the last one. I should thank you for coming out here. Then I Ouch. Is bees hanging out with the uh, oh, building series? Thanks for the fun, is. Nice to see you smile again. Is are you uh? You want a hand? I like how she sounds all happy and she's like probably dying from the uh, feral. I'm coming. She's got plot armor, so she's fine. All right, so it died. Is there anything in this house? No, this house is empty. Out we go! Headed home. After maybe I swing by Ray to see what Ray has for sale. Yeah, this uh, this shotgun's great on the AI, absolutely, 100%. Alright, Raymond. What you got for me, dude? Hello, my friend. Our home isn't much, but we share what we can. I like how he says our home. It's like, dude, you live alone. And you have food. 
I mean, I have food, comrade. Uh-oh. Ray, you have a little bit of an infestation problem, dude. Did you? Yep, there you go. Ow. I also got uh, my hero bonus on this one. I think. No, uh, someone else did. Who did? Ken? No, I had it on Ken. I saw that someone got their bonus kicked off. Well, I don't know who it is. Chavez has plot armor as well. Yeah, yeah. Anyone that's involved in, like, a story or whatever has, you they know, magic plot armor. Part of God's plan. I'd like to have words with them. I thought I saw someone get a hero bonus, but I, I guess I'm wrong. Right, let's head home, bring in the food and building materials. A surefire sign of success. Sierra, I think, uh, is still a citizen. Yeah, she's still a citizen. I checked as a madman being swarmed by zombies. Oh, oh, Chavez is... Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Thank you. That's what it was. We got his enclave bonus of a rooftop sniper. Or a lonely sniper. Uh, what that does is it allows you to signal him, and then he just, like, magically teleports to where you are, and he'll shoot um, zombies around your location. It doesn't produce noise, even though it's loud, and it's a good way to clear things out. So if you're ever, like, super screwed, you can climb some building and call him in. He can help clear zombies out around uh, where you're stuck. Zira, when she was demoted, lost her hero status because I didn't, like... Uh, honestly, at some point, I think I'm going to exile her. She's not that bad. Um, it's just her... Her hero bonus is moral support, which is rather useless. Which is why I made the decision is to not keep her as a hero. Because moral support is... Just mediocre. Uh, and oh, then hey, Lindsay here is, has plus two beds, which is better. come by to share an important development. Cleo has informed us that she is ready to implement her Haven protocol. Could you translate that for me, Doc? It means that she needs to be installed within a home site in order to provide a lasting defensive benefit. And she has specifically requested that your community be the one to receive this benefit. Doc, I'm confused. Why aren't you installing Cleo up at the campground? The Haven Protocol was designed to protect the maximum possible number of human lives. I must select a destination that allows me to carry out that goal, regardless of my current limited capacity. Oh, trust me. There's no convincing her otherwise. Shall we begin? So, this is uh, the last... I'm, I'm gonna end here. I know, it's a terrible spot to end. But, um, I'm gonna spoil it for you. So... Cover your ears if you don't want to know what the Haven Protocol is. Um, the Haven Protocol is a large slot uh, building space that you install in your base that kills all zombies that get within a certain proximity of your base. Basically, this bubble becomes a zombies just get melted zone. And it makes it so that you cannot be sieged ever. Sieges stop because obviously... Zombies turn to mush when they get close to you. There's no such thing as a siege. Um, in order to install it, it pisses off all zombies around you. So what that means is we have to suffer one mega stupidly large siege, but then all sieges thereafter uh, will cease to be. Uh, so you're going to want to kick this off uh, probably with an enlisted help, uh, probably with everybody that can be fully healed, healed. Like I would switch to McGrath, heal him. I would switch to Lindsay and remove her. Oh, she's fine. She's fighting infection, but she's fine. So that's what the Haven Protocol is. It is a no more sieges ever happen. The caveat is um, that it can be expensive to upkeep the Haven Protocol, the, uh, the thing that you build. So it's important to provide the benefits that it needs. It likes to be watered and powered. Um, it likes water to prevent it from overheating and it likes power because it works better when it's powered so 
this will be for next stream. We're very, very, very close. We are 12 minutes away from getting our solar array, which puts us 12 minutes away from getting significant amounts of um, food out of hydroponics. These hydroponics are three food a day. I can build two of them pretty much immediately because I, I got enough building materials for the two, which then kicks our food up from minus 10.5 to minus four or something. Um, and then if I really want, I could also upgrade the tartan mart here for even more food. So, uh, or, or install uh, facility mods that increase food as well. Uh, you can install, where's my facility mods? We, we can install the fertilizer and um, I could go looking for other facility mod. Oh, and you know what? I should install the collection in the lounge. There we are. Four games in the lounge to make the lounge more effective. So yeah, we're on the precipice of actually being very self-sufficient and being able to make a lot of things in-house, which is going to be really cool. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Homecoming Lethal, which originally streamed live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Rodamont.com also has my link to Discord, where you can sign up for notifications, announcements, or chat with me in real time. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.